Hey guys, Sharpen here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to recreate this whistle synth from a Jane Bordeaux track. Here's the original sound. And here's my recreation. So this tutorial is inspired by a really nice band called Jane Bordeaux. I recently went to one of their live shows and in the first song they played, they played a short solo on a keyboard that sounded sort of like a whistling synth. Uh, I have a short recording from that show here so you can hear it as well. It sounds like this. It's a little high pitched sine wave right there. And now I'm going to show you how you can recreate that using both Massive X and Serum as well. So let's start with Massive X. Uh, the first thing you want to do is to go ahead and choose a sine wave since uh, whistles don't have a lot of um, additional harmonics except for the main tone. And I'm going to pitch it up two octaves because the sound is very high. But as you can see, the sine wave in uh, Massive X adds a lot of additional harmonics, so we're going to get rid of these except for the first one right here. So let's do that using a low pass filter. And by keeping the keyboard tracking on, that means that if I'm playing uh, low notes and high notes, it's going to keep just the one harmonic uh, all across um, the different pitches for a dispatch. So here's an example with a low note. As you can see, it's keeping just um, the first harmonic, and the same thing goes for high notes as well. So in addition to that, since it's a whistle, it takes some time for its volume to reach uh, maximum volume, so I'm going to increase the attack by a bit so that it doesn't sound like a pluck. And in addition to that, uh, I'm also going to be adding some vibrato. Uh, I'm going to do that using LFO4. And I'm going to just modulate the pitch by a tiny bit by uh, 0.3 and just adjust the rate until you uh, like what you hear. I like it there so I'm going to keep it that way and in addition to that you can also hear that it, it sort of sounds like uh, a bird chirping every time a new note plays. So I'm going to recreate that effect using an envelope. Let's route it to the pitch and increase it by six semitones. Uh, and what we're going to be doing is to increase the attack time by a bit and set the decay to be really short, pretty much like the attack time. So that way you get a sort of like um, an effect where the pitch goes up and then goes down really fast. Like this. And then you can add it. And then uh, if you want uh, the effect to be less ex exaggerated, you can reduce the envelope level. I'm going to keep it right there. And then all you need to do is to just add some reverb. I'm really liking the reflective presets, so I'm just going to set the size all the way and just let it play. And that's pretty much it uh, for Massive X. And now let's do the same thing in Serum. So in Serum, you want to go ahead and choose basic shapes. But in Serum, if you play the sine wave, it's not going to play any additional harmonics. As you can see, it's just playing the note that you, you're playing. So I'm going to go to the triangle wave instead. I'm going to pitch it up two octaves as well. And I'm going to use the low pass filter to remove all of the unnecessary harmonics that the um, triangle wave presents. So let's do that. Let's set the low pass filter to be the closest as possible. And let's just find a spot where it's playing just uh, one harmonic. And use the keyboard tracking to uh, make sure that it does that, that for all of the notes that we're going to play. So something like this. Now let's go ahead and increase the uh, volume envelopes attack so it sounds more like a whistle. And let's use uh, L41 on the chorus right here. 
uh, to create a nice vibrato effect. Let's go ahead and increase the speed and reduce the amount in the matrix. So I'm just going to reduce the output so that it sounds less exaggerated. Like this. So now let's go ahead and create uh, the short envelope effect. I'm going to be using envelope number two on the semitones. I'm going to set it to just go up. Uh, let's start with 40, 40 and see how this goes. Uh, I'm just going to add some attack time around 20 milliseconds. I'm going to remove the sustain and do the same for the decay around 20 milliseconds. So this sounds pretty good. Uh, I'm just going to reduce uh, the output so that it sounds again less exaggerated as well. Something like this. And then the last thing you want to add is just some reverb. So let's do that. Let's increase the size and the decay should be really short. And the sound is sort of drenched in reverb so you want it to be pretty uh, wet. Uh, you can hear that the serum reverb has a sort of like uh, a delay sound. You can hear how the sound repeats itself and it sort of sounds like it's echoing through the walls. So that's also an interesting sound. And one last thing uh, to notice uh, is that when you're playing leads with this sound, you want to add uh, short uh, notes uh, before you're playing the actual note that you want to play. Uh, because these will just trigger this sort of bird chirping sound again and will create a nice uh, effect. Here's how the sound without it, and with it, it just sounds more birdish and more interesting. And the same thing goes uh, right here. So just keep in mind to add these little uh, artifacts because you can create a really nice uh, effect for your sound. And that is pretty much it. If you'd like to check out the Jane Bordeaux song This Whistle Synth, check the description below for a streaming link. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below what subject do you want me to cover up next time.